Hi guys, Mati here, I'm back again with episode 2 for building your own TNC synthesizer. So, um, today I'm going to show you how you can build your audio shield together with your TNC. And uh, don't judge me, I'm not a professional, so I'm going to give my best. And uh, if you have any better ways to combine your audio shield with your TNC, maybe an easier one with less soldering, then you can let me know. But uh, yeah, I will show my way and yeah, I hope you like it. So here you can see my um, breadboard and my TNC already attached, but um, nothing is soldered so I can take it off everything. So you need those feather pins and by the way this breadboard is not working so I, I just take it so I can solder on it uh, so that the pins don't move around but you can take a proper one too, a breadboard which is working and then you can just maybe put a piece of paper on it and uh, penetrate it with the, uh, with the pins. So what you are going to need to do, um, you can imagine these pins going in here just like this then you also have the feathers the feather sockets which go in here for example doesn't really matter then a bigger one Here you have your audio shield going through. That's the other side of the audio shield. So. So if you're not sure if the insulator is deep enough in the feather, then you can take a multimeter, like this one here. I'm going to link one in the description so that you can buy it if you want to. It's not that expensive either, like 10 euros. And you can just turn it to this mode. So what it basically does is if you put it on that mode, when you touch point A and point B and uh, there is a way for current to flow through, then it's going to make a beep sound. So if I'm going just to try it at this point, because it looks, I don't know, it looks a little, or maybe here, because it's just too high, so you would think there's no connection here, then you can just touch it here and here at the top, because those are the points which have to be connected. So let me just check it. Yeah, sounds good. So we can solder it without having to think about it too much. So I just turned it around and uh, it's not, of course not going to be the way how you are going to uh, put the uh, isolators into the feather sockets but I do it this way so that I can solder a little bit more easily by having the pins at the top so yeah. So what you are going to take is the soldering tin you can cut off a piece, but you can just also just roll off a part. And the soldering iron, which I have here already preheated, or it's pretty hot, or hot already. And you are also going to need the sponge, which I have here. And there is something called uh, the soldering honey. I mean, it's Lötonig in German, so it would be the exact translation. 
and you can take it and put it on the pins so that you remove the, all the fat you have on it so that the soldering is going to be a little bit easier. So I just put it on every pin. I just push it in and just gently squeeze it. Now you want to take your uh, soldering iron and try to hold the top or the tip of it at the one side and the soldering tin to the other side and once they touch it's going to dissolve and uh, yeah you shouldn't take too much because it has to go into the socket so uh, it shouldn't be too much because then it's not going to be deep enough. So we have this part now and yeah as you can see I'm not the guy who is the perfect soldier but yeah that's it's okay for our purpose. As you can see, it's not perfect at all, but it's but it's deep enough so that you have the connection, and um, that's actually what you need.
So your audio shield with the Teensy is set up now. As you can see, I oh, I push the feathers a little bit. I mean the yeah, the feathers here. So now you are actually ready to use it. Um, I checked all the connections, so it should work. And um, yeah, as you can see, I mean it's not even. I I'm aware about that, and uh, the soldering is not the best either. But still, it should work. And in the next part, I'm going to show you how you can connect it with your computer. And um, we are going to make some basic coding. So yeah, stay tuned and I hope to see you soon.